Good evening, Chris Blyfers. Welcome to your review for today. Now I've got here something of a rarity. This is a large packet of Walkers baked what's it and wait for it and wait for it the sizzling steak flavor now i believe that what's it only came in a cheese flavor so i was really excited when i saw this on the shelf this is a genuine walker's bag it's baked what's it and look at that, it's not cheese, it's sizzling steak. So yeah, really looking forward to that. These are corn puffs as we know. Uh, it's an unusual bag size this, it's a 130 gram bags. Um, which is, yeah, it's a bit strange that, but there we go. It's very full, it feels like a really fat packet. Um, so I'm expecting this to be brimming with what's it's. What's it? Just sizzled. We've asked, well, you asked and we've listened, whether you're a cruncher or a melter, the new sizzling steak What's It's are the oomph you need. So that is really exciting. Um, and it looks like they're also doing a flaming hot flavor as well, which I haven't seen, so I'll have to look out for those. Anyway, let's open these up and dive in. Whoa, it's really full. This bag is absolutely full to the brim. Let's get out a few of these Watsits and oh, is it my imagination that they're a bit they're a bit slimmer than the cheese Watsits, which are they're a bit fatter. Um, or am I imagining it? I'm not sure actually. Anyway, let's give them a try. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, not bad. I mean, they're not crunchy at all. They're what's it, so they kind of melt. Um, do they melt as nicely as the Puffaletti that I've reviewed recently? No, they don't. Are they crunchy at all? No. So I think a one out of five for crunchiness. Um, these are a corn snack. Is it a great tasting corn? Yeah, not really, that's a two out of five, I think. Flavor wise, the um, sizzling steak, I'm not sure what's sizzling about it. It tastes a bit beefy. Um, does it taste of steak? Yeah, not particularly, nothing wrong with it. Nothing right about it either, three out of five. Munchability. That's where I think the score shoots up a bit. Um, I can imagine myself just lazily going through quite a number of these. So I'm going to give that a four out of five. Value-wise, um, I picked these up for £1.99. So they were a little bit expensive for a 135, uh, 130 gram bag. Um, so I'm going to have to give that a two out of five, I think. So overall, a bit disappointing. There's kind of nothing wrong with these, but there's nothing much right either. So I think really it's a, if I'm feeling harsh, it's a two out of five crisp. If I'm feeling generous, it's a three out of five crisp. Mm, I'm feeling generous. I'll give it a very low three out of five. Um, not bad what's it. I like the idea of you introducing some more flavors. So keep them coming. Um, maybe there'll be an epiphany and there'll be a really nice flavor coming along soon.